Hey guys, I am at the bank. I am going to go in and see if I can get any more of those uh, rolls of Eisenhower dollars and uh, we'll come back and check those out here real quick in the car. We're doing a little bit of urban treasure hunting and uh, I stopped by the coin store here in town in those 2016s. I took them the example of a, of a nice new one that had a lot of detail and then another one that was really worn and asked him if he thought those were grease errors. He says they're pretty common. He says it's not a grease error, it's just wear on, on that common coin. So I believe him. I really do. I'm going to go to the other coin store um, and uh, see what they say as well. So I've got like 20 of those 2016 Philadelphia nickels that have the wear on it. So let's jump into the bank. I'm um, not going to record in there. They probably won't like that. I'm not even going to try. Uh, but uh, let's jump in there, see if we can get a roll of those uh, Eisenhower dollars. Be right back. All right, guys. Uh, she was very happy to see me. I think they're going to be happy just to get rid of them. Um, got another roll of Eisenhower dollars. Hang on just a second. I'm going to get these out and we'll take a look at them and see if uh, maybe there's some silver mixed in. I know they did a couple of years of these in silver um, or if there's anything kind of interesting. Hang on. Well, guys, there's the edges of those Eisenhower dollars. They are all clad, but, uh, you know, pretty cool. Um, you know, nothing really too unusual. There's one that's a little more worn than the others. Let's see if I can finagle it. Yeah, 1972. Uh, but uh, yeah, we'll wrap those back up. We're just going to start uh, putting these in the safe with uh, all the others and uh, just collecting what we can, you know, long term, right? This isn't about us. It's about my uh, my grandkids and my great grandkids. Um, you know, a little investment for the future. Maybe they'll have no value, uh, but uh, maybe they'll have a little bit. So good stuff, guys. Hey, guys, I just stopped at a bank, um, got a hundred dollars worth of Hang on a second, it's in here somewhere. Got a hundred dollars worth of half dollars. All right, so this is my uh, this is my 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 coin roll hunting money for my nickels and pennies on our our series. But we're in the car. I just went to the bank. It's a rather large bank here in the downtown area, and uh, she actually brought them out in this canvas bag. I asked her if she needed the canvas bag back. She said no. I'm like, cool, bonus gift. So let's take a look at what we got here. Half dollars. We're gonna uh, open these up. We're gonna open these up real quick, and uh, I'll show you the results. All right, guys. Well, that was really quick. Uh, it was only ten rolls. Uh, no silver, no NIFCs, but I did find a 1972 that's got some really cool toning on it. Uh, we're gonna throw it back though. Um, we're not gonna keep it. It's kind of cool. It kind of has that wood grain look to it. Maybe, I don't know if it'll focus or not, but um, it was a good time. Um, you know, we're just in the car doing some of that uh, that urban treasure hunting. I've got a little bit of a mess now with the wraps in my car, but that's all right. Um, we got some other change. Let's go turn them back in at my other bank. I don't bank at this bank down here in town. Uh, they charge 8% for you to turn coin in at their coin machine. However, if you're a customer there, they only charge one and a half percent. Now my bank where I bank charges 2% if it's over $50. Um, so I normally just turn in $50 at a time, but one and a half percent, dollar fifty on $100, that's not too big of a deal. But she did tell me if my kids get a savings account there, as long as I deposit the money in my children's savings account, they don't charge for uh, returning coins. So I don't know if I'm going to run that or not. A dollar fifty on a hundred dollars isn't too bad. Again, I'm a low budget coin roll hunter, so that's not really too big of a deal. Again, let's go change these in. Guys, I'm just on my way to the bank and I'm looking. There's another bank right over here. Um, we might try that one another day. I've been to this bank um, up over here. Um, different bank it's not my bank I've been in there and they had a couple of half dollars uh, just kind of loose they didn't have anything rolled in their vault um, I got some Susan B Anthony's from them as well um, they're right next to lunch so uh, uh, we might try that but um, we'll be at my bank here in just a minute try and take it a little easier on the curves all right guys we are at the bank so number one rule when returning coins to a coin machine check the rejected coins first rule number one rule number two when you are done check the rejected coins don't leave any behind all right i'm going to take you in just to the lobby um, the coin machine is actually just inside the double door so i'm going to take you guys in there with me um, i'm not going to take you into the bank bank with me hang on
Excuse me. All right, here we are. Number one rule, check for rejected coins. No rejected coins. This is pretty easy coin return. changing my desk so I brought it in. Rule number two, check for rejected coins. Alright. <laughs> it even tells you. Finished. Alright, we're back. We got everything dumped. Um, as you saw, it was a little more than $100. I had about $2 in change in my desk. I went ahead and brought that. Um, that was just some leftover change from the week. So, um, you know, it's a 2% fee. It's not too bad. It was over 50 bucks. I could have dumped 50 bucks today, 50 bucks tomorrow, but then I got to make two trips and I really didn't want to do that. So it cost me $2 and like 89 cents. Not a big deal. All right, guys, we are back in the car. We are driving around seeing if we can find some treasure i think i'm gonna go to a bank over here um, i've never been in the bank it's a branch of other banks that have not charged me um, or required that i have an account in order to get um, uh, change i've gotten pennies and half dollars from this this bank before but not this branch so main bank in town but not this branch so we're headed there it's going to take us probably about five or ten minutes to get there um and we will uh we'll see if we can uh we'll see if we can get some half dollars from them see what they've got we might ask them and see if they've got anything that's interesting susan b anthony's or or anything else that's interesting or unusual we'll just see when we get there uh, i am pulling into the bank right now i'm not going to take you guys in with me um, again banks probably don't like that um, you, you know, you don't want to be filming inside of a bank, so. Oh, it's down there. All right, I'll walk. Back in a few, guys. Oh, man, one roll. All they had was one roll. Um, I asked, they didn't have any, um, you know, large dollars or anything other than presidential dollars. So, they had one, you know. Whatever. It was on my way through. It didn't cost me anything. Um, yeah, whatever. We'll see. The bank services. Oh, man. I got a little bit of adrenaline. Um, I thought I saw silver, but I can see a little copper on it. Yeah. This bank services a pretty large area. So, um, you know, I figured they might have a little bit more. They'd stock up just a little bit more. I got 96. Um on coin like this, but because it's out in a rural area and it's very, very kind of isolated, um, kind of makes sense. 1980, 74, 74, and an 81. Well, I wonder if they'll buy it back from me. <laughs> Can I take it in there and see if they'll buy it back from me? I'm not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. That's kind of cruel. If I see another bank on the way, I'll stop and um, see if they've got anything. If not, well, I'll catch you in the next segment. All right, we are stopped at another bank. I'm going to run in real quick and see if they have any half dollars or anything unusual. Stick around. All right, they were super nice. Um, he had two rolls. I've got two rolls here. Let's check them out real quick. He said somebody came in a while back with a, a really large coin, and he made a he made a a sign like this. It wasn't like it was maybe a, an American Eagle or something like this. It was, he said, a really large coin like this wanting to sell it. And he's like, ah, oh, we can't do anything with that. 
I wonder what it was. If you guys have any ideas what it might have been, let me... Oh, again, I almost thought... Oh, again. You see that one? You see that one right there? It's a 1979. It's just, uh, it's just nasty. It's just ugly. So, uh, <laughs> I thought it was silver again. Well, all of these are kind of turned the same way. That one was weird. 74, 73, 79, 71. I'm just double checking here real quick just to be sure. I don't trust myself. Um, good news, I just talked um, and, and found out that I do have $500 available to borrow. Um, so I can, I'm going to go to the bank today and I'm going to ask them to order me a box of um, half dollars. And so we're going to get a video out soon um, at home of, uh, of me going through a half dollar box. All right, I'm just going to roll those up real quick. Do this other box. The lady pulling in next to me. Hello. Hello, lady. Yeah, it's all clad. It's all clad. That's all right. I am going to do business with them because I got to get my safe deposit box. Um, and so it's only one and a half percent. So it's only going to charge me like seven fifty. But like I said, if my son or my daughter has an account with them and it deposited into their account, then it's free. Kind of working the system there. Um, save me the seven fifty, but I'd have to get an account open. Yeah, it's all clad. No NIFCs, no silver. That's all right. It's fun. It's fun hanging out with you guys. I uh, I'm having fun doing this. Um, let me know what you think. Um, I'm not gonna hit any more banks today. If uh, if I do hit a uh, like a, a gas station or anything like that, if I gotta get anything at a gas station, if I hit one of those, then I'll. Uh, I'll uh, come back and give you an update. Otherwise, we will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys. Take care. All right, I was almost back, but there is one bank right across the street here from where I got gas. So I'm gonna run in here. This is another branch of uh, the main bank downtown that um, doesn't, uh, doesn't require an account. So I'm gonna run in real quick and see what we can get. All right, nine dollars. <laughs> they had actually had ten dollars, but the two that the guy had were super gross. He said, so I didn't bother with it. They were all loose in the drawer. Oh wow, that's a really nice 1979. I saw that in there. I saw the reverse. Look at that. It's in good shape. I saw that on the desk and thought it might be an NIFC. It's a 1979D. It's just in really nice shape. Um, yeah, the guy had two that were really gross. And I'm like, yeah, that's all right. <laughs> that's all right. I don't want those. So it was kind of fun. It, they didn't have any rolls. They just had loose ones in their in their drawer. So I just took all that they had. We are still under. Yep, 72. It's all clad. We're still under our $50. You know, we're at $39. So my bank will still take them out for free. Um, so I'm not gonna I'm not gonna lose anything here in my with my bank. I'll just put those in my bag that I got. Let me put the others in my bag. Alright, well, I really, really gotta stop. It's addicting! I'm treasure hunting! I wanna do more! I gotta stop. See you guys.